Riley Newman jumped the corner and he jammed Big Bull. What's up? What's up? Riley Newman walking the walk. Here in Red Rock. All right, welcome back, all you competitive clowns. This is Hashtag Randall, the producer, coming to you live from the latest stop on the Pro Pickleball Tour. It's the Built.com Red Rock Open. We're about 90 minutes northeast of Vegas. And let's check in with two of the bigger names in the sport, AJ Kohler and Riley Newman, in their first ever joint pickleball camp. Did you know that lady? All right, did you work on your autograph as a youngster in school? Uh, you know what? Too, I might just retire the you, you know what? Um, watching all the professional sports back in the day was always very cool. Um, being able to now sign a few autographs for pickleball. Uh, didn't think I'd ever be doing this for uh, a living, but uh, it, it's definitely cool now. So. Nobody ever asked you to, for your autograph when you were a referee? No, they, they booed me. <laughs> they booed me. So I was never loved, but now pickleball, I feel like I'm somewhat loved. But Mr. Kohler is definitely more loved than I am. But I just try to compete. I just try to compete. When, when was the time you were boo booed the most as a referee? Do you remember? And was it like during a you know, play? I feel like fifth grade, uh, fifth grade basketball is the worst. I felt like you were refing fifth graders. Of fifth grade uh -huh. uh, are the worst. Like I never had really any issues in like college, division two, II, division three. It's the fifth grade parents that are just unruly. So that's why I was like, I'm done with this. And I'm out. I'm do, out. Do you remember anything they said to you, or was there a particular or Carl, if you recall? No, I think maybe there was, you know, in fifth grade basketball, there, there could be a, some, some slaps, some travels that you make. Yeah, I mean, there could be a call Cherries. every single time. But <laughs> you got a, somewhat of a flow. Uh, and I think there was one little slap that he didn't call, and a parent was like, that's a foul. And stormed on the court, and it's uh -huh. like, all right, I'm at, enough of this. Uh -huh. Enough is enough. So now I'm living the dream playing pickleball. So. Did all you do advantage, disadvantage as a referee? Is that how you tried to call? Uh, or? I feel like it's more a little bit on the soccer side. Basketball, oh, okay. if you see something that it really affects the play, you're going to call it right then and there. But when lower levels, third grade, fourth grade, it's more that disadvantage, advantage for sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hey, there, one more question. There's a tech investor who's investing in the Major League Pickleball. I don't know if you've heard of this guy, Gary V, mm -hmm. Gary Vaynerchuk. He doesn't have a lot of knowledge as far as like the pros and drafting and stuff. What's one piece of advice you might give to Gary V and uh, the Vayner Nation when they're watching pickleball? First, Gary V, what does he need to look for when he's drafting these pro players and build out his team? So I would say a lot of people would probably just go off pure rankings where they've never seen any of the pros play. Uh, I do think having chemistry with your partner is huge. So don't just go strictly off the rankings of who's one through 16. Uh, it does help to watch a few matches, uh, see if there's <laughs> been other partners that have played together. Uh -huh. uh, and if you've had that, that's gonna really help benefit your partnership. So uh, don't just go off the rankings and uh, maybe you'll just have a good uh, partner like AJ and then we'll just uh, clean house and take names. And what about Vayner Nation? They might not be, uh, this might be their first time watching pickleball or being introduced to pickleball through Gary's team. What, what should they be looking for when they watch pickleball? I think when you watch pickleball, especially at the high level, pro pro level matches, you're going to see lots of uh, dinking. You're going to see 50 to 60 ball dinking <laughs> rallies. It's going to be super 50 fun. or 60? Uh, oh, man. You're going to see these rallies go on and on and on. Um, but that's the exciting thing. It's like the point builds up when you get to this non volley zone. It's going to build. You're going to wait for the attack. And then once the attack's coming, it's like a firefight. It's going to be the most exciting. Uh, fills your adrenaline with when the, when the volleys go like that. So uh, it'll be lots of fun. Hopefully you guys tune in. Check it out. Randall's got all the videos, so uh, be tuning in for that. And tell us about your camp. This is your first time uh, coaching with this guy here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> first time. First time. Won't be the last time. I uh, had, a, had a blast here in St. George, and uh, we're going to be coming to a city near you. Ben and Riley going at it. Oh, Ben opens the window around the post, and Riley smashes right through it. Okay, Riley, where should you hit the ball when you have this great paddle of yours? Well, I would say, Riley says, hit it. Where you ask? Where do you say? Where, where you ask it? Where? How about right here, baby? What hit about, it there. What about here? No. What about here on your name? No way. <laughs> hit it here. Is that Circle the sweet spot? Up. Here, sign that. Will you sign that? Hit it. Here, where? Here, God, my gosh, dang it. Right in the middle of the paddle. <laughs> AJ, what do you think of that advice? Where should, where should you hit it on your paddle? I'm gonna say right there. I'm not gonna argue with that. You agree with this guy? 
have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm his ride home, so you have to. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. That's right. So what was it like coaching uh, with Riley here? Your first camp with him, right? Yeah, You're a man of few first words, camp, so. First camp, not many words, but no, he's the guy, uh, he knows a lot about the game, so I enjoyed uh, getting to see what was inside his brain. And, oh, what, what's inside? What's one thing that's inside his brain some, uh, that people might not? Besides Dairy Queen, like, have you taken him to Dairy Queen yet? I think we, I think we might stop there on the way home. Uh huh. Um, I don't know why. I feel like he owes me ice cream or a Blizzard or something. I don't know why, but I feel like he does. Really? The guy, the guy I'm just, I'm stuff, sure, so. I'm sure I won a bit or something with him last night. The guy night. just starts the banter and he's hoping to clean up some, some free ice cream on something. He just throws it in okay. the air. Hey, I, was, did you guys have a bet? that um, Riley would get hit on an out of bounds around the post type when no. he was trying to Ernie? No, we didn't have a better move. <laughs> that was funny. Just I mean, to know that, that happens. That was What's funny. Scoreboard, though? I've gotten called <laughs> probably three or four times. That's his first time ever getting these. <laughs> I feel like the score is still like three to one, well, but he did give me on I that like one. how you gave him a little applause. Yeah, I did. I respect the move. I respect it. Dude. Walk us through that play real quick because you came out and then you had to like kind of reach back a little bit to make sure it got over. You know, when I tried to go for the Ernie, I think it like tipped off the top of the tape. Uh, then it was, it, the ball was just kind of there. I was already in a tough, vulnerable position off the court. <laughs> I was like exposed. <laughs> Colin saw it. I'm a 6'2 guy. What am I supposed to do? Like, so he, he got me and, and I just tipped my hat. Yeah, so nice sometimes shot. you just got to tip your hat and pick a ball, right? That's it. That's it. <laughs> AJ Cole standing up. The Jones brothers here. Oh, we're back here with this week of pickleball and Fromoth, Fromoth. What? Oh, hey, it's AJ Kohler. What's going on? <laughs> hey, well, how do you say this uh, brand now? What is this brand? This is Fromoth. Fromoth. Fromothpickleball.com. Uh huh. Just, uh, what do got, they do? They got everything. Everything: shoes, clothing, paddles, all your pickleball needs, and uh, they take care of me. So. All right, now, what, the biggest news in pickleball, you were talking to me yesterday about my shirt and everything I was wearing. Yeah. You had the Gary V uh, competitive clowns, yeah. the fives. Yeah. What advice do you have for Gary V when he's on draft day or in the war room oh, leading up to draft day? Uh, draft day, um, you know, I think uh, what happened in the first MLP was uh, camaraderie was key, actually. Some of the... Uh, some of the teams on paper that people thought would do well uh, didn't do so hot, and uh, you know, like my team, we had, we just had chemistry. So um, find uh, find team-oriented people, people with no egos. Um, you know, uh, that seemed to work in the long run, I guess. Okay. And what do you think of the logo? I like the logo. Obviously, I saw it on your shirt. And I, I saw that they put it out. The uh, Fives or whatever, the fighting yeah, the clowns. Or the they? competitive clown competitive clowns. is the yeah. name of the logo. It's a cool logo. I think uh, it's a creative name. So, I mean, yeah, congrats to him for putting it together. All right, great. Hey, thanks. We'll let you get to your flight. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Where are you going to hit it, folks? Oh, Where are you going to hit it? Hit it here. Oh, what's up? What's up? Get your hands up. Get your hands up. Well, that was more after this. I'm just looking for pickleball. Like, subscribe, and share. Like your life depends on it. Go pickleball.